Welcome to the Nightly Rant with your hosts, Mike and Toria. This is the show where we examine society from a sarcastic point of view. If you like insane conversations, this is definitely the show for you. Let's get into today's topic. YPN people, I don't know about you, but I love helping out a friend. That's why I want to shout out my friend Brian Little and his podcast, Your Favorite Blockhead. This is the only show that manages to weave together peanuts and MMA into one heck of an amazing podcast. You can find your favorite blockhead wherever your favorite podcasts reside and at yourfavoriteblockhead.com. Do me a huge favor and listen to Brian's show. You'll be entertained and you'll help out a friend. Now, as I said, let's get into today's topic. So today's the day after Super Tuesday. Yay. And I wake up this morning and I go on Twitter and what do I see? I don't know. The number one trending thing is hashtag rigged primary. Okay. Now, what I find humorous about that is that people who believe it are the Bernie supporters and the people who don't believe it are everyone else. And those everyone else instantly go to the, oh, you must be a Russian bot sent here to make us believe that this was a rigged primary. Nice. What a thing to go to, right? Like, just jump right to that. Because they put that they think the primary is rigged. I mean, doesn't it kind of seem like it might be rigged? I mean, here's Biden going in the dumper. Can't finish even in second place in any other primary because he's doing so crappy. Then his two main challengers drop out and endorse him. And suddenly, and all, and by the way, prior to that, all the talk was about how the leadership of the Democratic Party was all in an uproar because Bernie was the front runner. And they couldn't have that. Because remember, Bernie's not really a Democrat. I so, paid literally no attention to this entire process. So, but it's just really, it's, did anyone ask you to fucking pay attention to it? No. Okay. Who cares if you paid attention into attention? I'm merely saying that doesn't it seem like the uh, if all they were talking about was, oh, the Democrat leaders are so worried that Bernie's going to take over. And all of a sudden, these people who vowed to be in it to the bitter end all drop out of the race and just coincidentally endorse him. Isn't it what they do before and every then, single primary in and the history just, of ever? And then he just amazingly um, cleans up on Tuesday. It makes no sense. It makes no sense at all. None. Hashtag rigged primary. But speaking of social media. You're a Russian bot. One of the things that drives me crazy, and it's a big reason why I don't Facebook anymore. It's the Russian bots. Is the idiots on Facebook who you talk to them, they talk back. You talk to them, they talk back. And you have a long conversation. And granted, yes, it is a long conversation. And at most times, a heated conversation. But then, when you pin them in a corner and they have nothing left that they can possibly say to defend themselves, they say, you should go get a job. Now, when you ask them why they assume you didn't get a job, they always tell you it's because, great. If you ask them why they, they claim you should go get a job, they always say the same exact thing. Well, you have so much time to comment on here, I figured you didn't have a job. Well, what have you been doing all this time? One of those people, those you should go get a job people, called me a boomer the other day. Was that supposed to be like, is that like some idiot's new, uh, I know what it's about, you don't have to explain it to me, but is that like this new, does that mean that idiots are now going to use this as like their new uh, ha 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 I, I burned you joke? Whenever someone disagrees with you, the appropriate response is okay boomer, because they're clearly an old stupid person. Okay. Uh-huh. So that's as bad as assuming you don't have a job because you were talking to them the same amount of time they were talking to you. Uh-huh. And it's as bad as the people who call you names because they disagree with you. Oh, the name calling. Or the people who think it's name calling to say, you know, don't act stupid. You've now called them stupid. No. If I wanted to call you stupid, I'd say don't be stupid. Right. <laughs> People are stupid. That calls you stupid. That's me calling them stupid. Don't People act stupid is... Are don't pretend that you're stupid. stupid. Simple. And those those kind of things 
um, are so prevalent on Facebook, and it's why I've left there, and I spend a majority of my time on Instagram. And what I find about Instagram is that you you can choose to get involved in the conversation or not. It doesn't like suck you in because they kind of hide ninety nine percent of the comments. In fact, unless the person who posted it comments or one of your friends comments, you don't even see the comments. I don't really like Instagram. Unless you go in there. Mostly because I don't follow anything I actually care. I don't go on Facebook either, so there's that. Social media is not my jam anymore. Well, it's kind of a bad thing since that's how we have to market our business. I have all the social medias. I know how to use all the social medias. Are you sure? I just don't give two shits to go on them on a regular but basis. But are you staying up on the latest things? Because I can tell you I'm not with Facebook. And I can tell because when you tell me about a post that you see there and I go and look, it's like stuff has changed. And I'm like, what the hell? It's not like it's super hard to catch up. Wow. So. Bugs me. But yeah, Instagram, I like it because it's just sort of like a mind wasting, you know, mind numbing, flipping through people's photos. Um, I actually find the stories the most interesting. And that's funny because there was a point in time you could probably go back and find an episode or more than one. Where I kind of dissed the stories. But, you know, I'll admit, I like the stories. I think the stories are kind of a cool way to get a message out. It's helped me engage with the people that follow me. I think they're tedious because by the time I go to look for them, when somebody tells me to sell something cool, it's gone. Well, that means it took you twenty more than 24 hours because they stay up there for 24 hours. Between them posting it, someone else seeing it, then some, that's someone else telling me that it was cool. Yeah, it could take more yeah. than 24 hours. I think that's yeah. stupid, yeah. but whatever. It is what it is. That's why I screenshot it for you when I see it. It makes more sense that way. Or you send it to me in a message and then I never see it. Because I don't go on Instagram. Well, then you're lame. There's nothing I can do about that. Instagram is Can't boring. Can't fix that. I'm not understanding why you think it's boring and I actually find it super relaxing. It's kind of weird. But okay. I like that. It's, it's interesting to show you how two people can look at the same exact thing and come away with a completely different conclusion. Yep. Like you need to go get a job. What the hell? Boomer. What you is know who that? Who needs to go get a job? That dude I was talking to the other day who told me because, because I s- suggested that he read the entirety of the original post instead of commenting like a psychopath. Because I suggested this to someone else, he felt a need to come in there, tell me to get a job, call me a boomer, and then call me a fat ass. That was, his, that yeah. was what he felt like doing at 5.30 in the morning on a Monday. Pretty much all the things he wouldn't do face to face with you either. He can try me face to face. I'd probably knock him over. I, I find that intriguing to me though, because because the psychology of it all is so strange. And yet those are the same people who, if you say don't act stupid, are gonna get all indignant and say you called them stupid. Oh, and then he got so butthurt that I then got his comments removed by the admin of the group that he blocked me. Well, wow. sounds like a better thing. Sounds like a better thing. It's See, just a good day. That right around. there. It's why I don't go on that stupid Facebook because it's irritating to me. Oh, I know. But you were all excited because your friend came in second in California. Explain. Vermin. Vermin who? Vermin Supreme. Who's Vermin Supreme? He's a dude that wears a boot on his head. Oh, that guy. And crazy he libertarian guy. tied for second place of the libertarian candidates for president in the state of California. Yeah, it was an interesting, uh, interesting, interesting outcome. That's for sure. Do you know why I like Vermin Supreme? Why? Because I don't know any of the other people on the list. And Vermin Supreme is just a genuinely nice person. So you think that the major qualification for being president should be genuinely nice person? I think the major qualification for president should be not a cockwaffle. Now, I don't know anything about any of you the other people. You have to define what cockwaffle is if you're going to use the term in a podcast. I would like everyone else to come up with their own definition of cockwaffle and send it to us so that I can pick the one I like the best. Well, where should they send it? I don't know. Where's the best place to send them these days? I used to send them to Instagram, but we already went through how I don't go on Instagram anymore. I never sent anybody to Instagram. Yeah, we you did. send them to info at yogispodcastnetwork.com. Even Bree knows the answer to that. Spectacular. So you were going to tell us a story 
about Grammarly the last time we talked. I don't remember. And you ended by saying you were going to tell us how one way, kind of secret way to use uh, Grammarly that most people don't know about. Literally have no it? idea what you're talking about. Well, so I don't Grammarly <laughs> has an has an application that runs on Windows or Mac. And you can open it up and you can take what you wrote and put it in there. It still corrects the grammar like it always does, but it has this really cool feature. First of all, it also counts the words, but it has this really cool feature that's a plagiarism checker. So if you were taking an article of yours and you were going to re-spin it to use it again somewhere else without getting a penalty from Google, that tool would do it for you. Get it to like 95% and you're good. You mean get it to 5%. It tells you how much is 95% plagiarized. unique. Oh, okie dokie. It's a cool feature. It's a really cool feature. It so if you, good. if you need to market your business and you need to be a better writer, go over to yogispodcastnetwork.com forward slash Grammarly. We're going to get a small, and I do mean small, commission. But you're not going to pay anything extra for it. So what do you care? So head on over there, yogispodcastnetwork.com forward slash Grammarly. So, what do you think is going to happen with this coronavirus thing? Because it seems to me, and you tell me if I'm wrong, that there's a bigger outbreak of stupidity than this virus. Can I say something kind of controversial? You can say whatever you want. It's the nightly rant. Do you want to know the most disappointing part about pandemics? They don't target people based on their stupidity. Yeah. But 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 is it me or is there an outbreak of stupidity now? I tried to shop on Costco.com today for cat food. And they had a daily deals section, which I like to look at because maybe the cat food's in the daily deals section, right? Right. Could be awesome. So I was looking through there and they were they had daily deals on toilet paper, toilet paper, paper towel, water, all this shit. All sold out. Costco.com sold out of toilet paper. All the Costco's in Southern California are sold out of toilet paper. I saw some jackass on Facebook Marketplace today selling a $2 bottle of hand sanitizer for 20 bucks. Now that Those people are is a scum. cock waffle. <laughs> Those people are scum. Yeah. They're as bad as the scammers online. They're scum. Just a disgusting human being. And they, they had the audacity to put in their their post for the hand sanitizer that they didn't want any hate in the comments. Well, that just tells you they know they're a pile of dog shit. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. When you told me that, that's exactly what I thought. They're even a bigger pile of crap because they know what they're doing is wrong. Yep. That's just ridiculous. But, But there's part of it. You know, that's the whole, I see an outbreak of stupidity. You know, people... But what, we talked about the other night, too. If you're going to go get supplies because you want to hide from the coronavirus, why do you go to some supremely public place? Why are you not shopping on Amazon? Exactly. And you know what? And then you could sanitize the packages as they came in. I mean, there's there's so much that you could do. And I, I just I don't understand people in the way they think. I will never understand people in the way they think. And because of that, there's going to always be that group of people who, like, agrees that what we say is how things are and then there's gonna be that group of people that think that we're jerks because we say it but you know what think i'm a jerk i don't get it doesn't change what the truth is so what i would do is i would order a box of cans of lysol spray from amazon and then i would take the risk with that one single box of letting it into my house without being sanitized and you'd use it to sanitize itself and I would, yes, and I would use it to sanitize itself, and then I would order all the other things, and I would use that Lysol spray to sanitize all of them. I would never need to leave my house until the coronavirus had passed, and I'd be fine. But no, these dipshits are going to freaking Costco. <laughs> well, you know, I'm just checking um, that there's like coronavirus disinfectant, coronavirus face mask coronavirus n95 face mask coronavirus protection all this is on amazon yeah i'm trying to find something else i want to see if i'll have to tell you something funny too go for it hold on i have to find it first i saw all i was waiting for you coronavirus survival pack so you remember ebola coronavirus survival pack 
So do you remember Ebola? Yeah. And how it killed 40% of the people who were infected with it? Yeah. And you remember uh, the bird flu? Yeah. And how it killed, well, the various versions of it killed between 40 and 60% of the people infected with it? Yeah. And how SARS killed 10% of the people infected with it? Yeah. This uh, COVID-19 is killing 2% of the people affected with it. Two. Oh, and that's and that's after they've said that the death rate is actually a bit higher than they initially expected. Right, two percent. So I don't understand where the panic. I understand Isn't the if, flu at about that same percentage. The regular flu is at like one point one percent. So it's a little bit stronger than the flu. But I heard that the treatment is exactly the same as the flu. Well, yeah, they'll treat it the same way they treated that H one N one when it came out. It'll just be a different flu shot that they'll add to the cocktail. Because that's really all it is—is is a form of the flu. Yeah. It's more like SARS than bird flu, but yeah. I told you, though. Somebody says that the Chinese had some kind of dust, and they insisted that people be vaccinated. It was required. And they vaccinated them with this dust. And it's like a electronic dust. And they can activate it from a distance. And that they then infect you with the coronavirus that has a switch that's connected to this dust. And when they want to activate the virus, they just turn it on. Then you go and you go to the doctor and they try to heal you and they just turn it off and make you think you're healed. Then when you do something they don't like or speak out against them, they turn it on and kill you off. I uh, I think you've been uh, drinking the conspiracy Kool-Aid lately. I didn't say if I agreed or disagreed. Just told you what I read. I didn't say if the conspiracy Kool-Aid was actually affecting your brain capacity. I drinking anything. But you've clearly been delving Not into Reddit. Not to drink that kind of stuff. You've clearly been delving into Reddit. So I think... Or I some think other nonsense. Actually, that wasn't a Reddit. That was off of the Drudge Report off of Politico. So Wow. So yeah, that's yeah. spectacular. Basically mainstream media. <laughs> I mean, these days there's no such thing as mainstream media. You need to read 35 accounts of something before you can actually believe it. That's another story for another day. But I wanted to tell people, we're going to start getting into some topics that we've seen um, written in articles places and... We're going to talk about it, and I'd like to get your participation. So when we put out um, episodes like that, which is coming up soon, I'd like some comments. Put some comments in the show notes and let us know what you think. Get a conversation started. Or if Let's get to know each other, Yogi's Podcast Nation. Let's go. Or if you've found an article you'd like us to tread, to us. talk about, whatever. Where do they send it? Do you remember? <sighs> Instagram? Question no. mark? No. Info at yogispodcastnetwork.com. You have homework. <laughs> After you tell everybody goodnight, you're going to learn the address of the podcast network. It isn't that hard. All right? All right. On that happy note, good night, everyone. Hasta la bye bye. Info at yogispodcastnetwork.com. Thank you for listening to the Nightly Rant. If you enjoyed the show, please give us a five-star rating on Apple Podcasts or Google Play. If you didn't enjoy the show, please just ignore that previous request for a rating. This has been a Yogi's Podcast Network production.